I'm John Skinner, and uh, it's winter here on Long Island, and uh, this is our off season. There's actually like really no fishing to speak of. Um, so what am I doing? I'm just doing something to get out on the water, and uh, yeah, it's raking clams, and um, geez, I, I haven't done this in about 20 years, and I'm also in a new area, so yeah, uh, lots of good stuff. Feels like lots of good stuff in the rake there, and it's nothing but stones and shells. And yeah, I'm pretty clueless. I've got this old rake my father left me. Um, I'm just hoping to get some. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna poke around, try to find some. Uh, try to find a lot would be nice. So clamming can be a little bit like fishing. Uh, you know, you can be in a spot and there's nothing. You, you move a little bit. Yeah, you can move, move even 10 feet, 15 feet and uh, it, it can be really good. So yeah, I'm gonna poke around, try to find something. Um, I actually do have experience clamming uh, decades ago. I put myself through a couple of years of college clamming commercially, uh, yeah, maybe about 30 miles from, from where this is. So um, yeah, I have no clue about these waters and this is not the kind of gear that I was commercial clamming with. I mean, that was with a boat. And, uh, big long rake, uh, much larger basket. This is this is recreational clamming. So, uh, just hoping to get some. So I do have something in my favor. This is uh, close to the new moon, right around low tide. You, you certainly want to time these trips uh, around low tide, and I've got a good tide off, so I'm able to uh, cover some bottom. And here we go. There's a couple of clams, and I've actually been clamming for about 45 minutes now. And I don't know, maybe I've got like five clams in my surf bag. Yeah, you can see um, I'm not really going with the type of gear most people would go with here. I needed something to put the clams in. Of course, I got lots of surf bags, so I used one of those. Ideally, you should be using like a, a tube with a basket in it and let that float. But yeah, I didn't know if I was going to get any at all. So uh, uh, surf bag's good enough for this trip. So clamming is uh, heavily regulated. Uh, the different townships, not even the towns, but the townships that are like on Long Island, those are like uh, little collections of towns. Um, they, they have their own rules and usually um, it helps to be a resident to have a permit or else you have to pay a lot of money. And, um, and then what happens is the state decides, oh, there's a pretty good haul there, right? Got like three clams, two or three. All right, whatever that is, that's, that's good. Um, the state samples waters, so some waters are open all year long for clamming, others are open part of the year, and still others um, could be open part of the year depending on rainfall. So uh, it's one of those things where, I mean, literally before I went out, I, I made sure I uh, went online, checked the rules, checked the, the state website, you know, made sure I've got my clamming permit and all of that. Um, definitely don't want to... Um, make any legal mistakes doing this. And, and you know what, a lot of those rules are for your own good so that you don't uh, end up eating contaminated clams. And uh, one of the regulations uh, for recreational clamming, which is what I'm doing here, is a hundred clam limit. And uh, as you can imagine, I'm not too worried about that limit at this point. Uh, for size, yeah, as big as you can get them, although those are not the ones you want. Um, those are like chatter clams. We'll get into size in a minute. Y you really want the smaller ones, but if they're too small and they go through the rake, um, those are the illegal ones. So the rakes are sized so that the really small clams, will um, you can push them through, and those are the seed clams. You're not supposed to keep those. Um, Ideally, you want the ones that are just big enough to stay in the rake, and uh, those are great on the half shell and so forth. But, uh, hey, I'll take whatever I can get at this point. So I've got a pretty hard bottom here, really, you know, having some, uh, have to put some effort in getting that rake to dig in. And I think maybe the fact that this is an older rake, the handle's got some flex in it, a couple of the prongs are a little bent, and it's probably not helping me out much, but uh, I'll do what I can do. And you obviously have to proceed with caution doing this. I mean, uh, you, you got to be careful not to step in any soft spots. Just, you know, t test your footing a lot. Uh, you don't want to sink in. You know, you could drown doing this. Oh, oh. Mother load. Look at this. Look at this.
Yeah, so there's a welcome site. Um, yeah, boy, you know, you look at that and you think, wow, you know, I, I, I could get my hundred in like a half an hour if I could keep doing this. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty exciting to see. Um, and by the way, it's really cold out. It's like 38 degrees and the water is also about 38 degrees. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right here. I, I've got breathable waders, but I have sweatpants underneath them. I've got my Stormer surf top on, and I've got some uh, neoprene gloves, the Glacier gloves. And uh, well, um, altogether, it's holding up pretty well. But uh, yeah, and uh, so it, it turns out there's, there's five clams in the basket here, and uh, that's actually going to be my best haul of the day. But uh, now I feel like I'm on some pretty good grounds. And now I'm going to pick away for a while where I get one, I get two, maybe I get nothing. A couple times I get four. And you know, after some time, you do that for a half an hour, 45 minutes or so, uh, yeah, it starts adding up. So uh, and then I, I turned the camera off for a while and uh, picked it back up at this point here. I've got 99. Come on. Tell you one thing, it's the first time I've tried without that neoprene glove. It's gonna be the last time. That water is cold. Come on, one clam I can go. Yeah, anything but a clam. Oh, I can't dig in. Come on, one clam. There it is. Okay, and then the clams need to be sorted by size. The ones on the left are the largest ones. Those are chowder clams. The ones in the middle are called little necks. So I'll use those for, for frying, or they could be used on the half shell. And the, the ones on the right are the cherry stones, great for baking and stuffing and so forth. And now we're going to make really easy baked clams. These are the only four ingredients you need besides the clams. Uh, a half a teaspoon of the garlic powder, two tablespoons of the parsley, four tablespoons of the breadcrumbs, and um, about a quarter cup of olive oil, and that's it. And first we're gonna scrub up the clams and um, we're gonna steam them just a little bit just to get them open. Um, yeah, real simple, just get a brush. In fact, uh, you know what, every pair of waders I've bought recently have one of these little brushes in there. So yeah, it's great for scrubbing clams. You see, I put just a little bit of water in the pot, gonna scrub through these, put them in the pot, and. Uh, let them steam until they open. It'll just take a couple of minutes. Then they're going to look like this. They've opened up and they're ready to go and move on to the next step. Now I took those four ingredients and mixed them together in like a skillet and, and heated them up. It almost makes like a paste. You spoon a little bit over each clam and then it goes into the oven on broil high, four inches from the heat, three minutes and this is the way they come out and they are spectacular this is like restaurant quality and you're done in like 20 minutes it's very little work and hey add a beer and what more could you ask for okay i hope you enjoyed this and if you like these videos please subscribe to my channel